Well, it's Tuesday again, it is. and we're still messing around with large-scale uh, railroad cars. Narrow gauge uh, FN3 would be the officially recognized scale F for uh, 120.3 scale, accurate three-foot gauge on right. number one gauge track, blah, blah, blah. blah. <laughs> These are, are all cars by AMS. Uh, Bachman Spectrum also makes a series of cars in this scale that are just excellent. Right. Other than going with brass, those are your choices. Uh, uh, AMS, these guys, uh, or Bachman Spectrum. And beyond that, expect to buy brass cars and uh, pay right. you know, a half, lot of money. half a thousand dollars for anything. So, right. But these can be picked up for, depending on the car, 80 to 150 dollars wow so it's not too not, bad not bad it's not too bad no. especially given the the incredible detail and on ebay anything's possible um you just never know you buy on somebody, eBay. somebody might be doing an estate sale or closing things out and right you do have to be careful with the bachman that you're buying spectrum i've seen people even say that big hauler stuff is spectrum stuff yeah let the buyer and beware. It ain't. yeah let the buyer beware it's exactly. those aren't nearly nice and be educated in your field and in your buying when you're on ebay because people make mistakes on there all the time if you're looking for Bach, bachman spectrum large scale mm -hmm. just make darn sure look right. at know what you know what to know look what for you're getting. and make darn sure you're not buying mm -hmm. big hauler which is going to be worth about $20 a car uh, instead of $100 a right. car or, or more. Anyway, we're unboxing this one. We've already peeled the box because sometimes what a job. these uh, AMS get in out of the box and it's uh -huh. just it's, it's hard and you don't need to see all that. That means I'm stuck. I'm stuck. So <laughs> here we are opening the, the styrofoam for the first time. And uh, Oh, cute. I can say cute. Now... I've always loved reefers. My favorite reefer is the 40-foot reefer. Nobody makes it. Well, I, I, nobody makes it in a plastic car, I'll put it that way. And uh, not that kind of reefer. <sighs> reefer madness. <sighs> you need to watch that movie if you've never seen it. Reefer madness. No, that's not this reefer. That's a different reefer. The, that's a that's a zeppelin. That's it's very small. Um, <sighs> okay. There is there is some flying involved, but it's like a zeppelin. Anyway, we digress. Moving on to our iced iced reefer, which I'm peeling the paper off of as we speak. Oh, what a gorgeous car! Holy! Oh, that's crap. wonderful. Look at that. The detail here is just wow. stunning. I've never had it out of the box before. No, it's so. like Christmas morning. And it looks like the hatches work. I don't know if I want to try messing with that, but it looks oh, like, they look like they do. the look ice hatches. One of the neat things about that is uh, what they did with ice reefers back in the day, if it was winter, they just opened the doors. I mean, why put ice in there and then drive around if it's 30 degrees outside or right. 10 degrees outside or something? You don't really yeah, need to. Yeah, they don't need it at all. And, and so these hatches where they would put the ice in, there's a, a bunker at the end of each car that holds ice, and that'll keep the whole car. It's very insulated, triple thick, blah, blah. And then it's got these ice bunkers at both ends. Well, cool. inside the ice bunker is another door that slides open. Mm. And then they drop the ice in here and then slide that door open. Um, and that'll let the cool air, the cold air inside the car. But mm -hmm. if it's cold out, these little braces here um, can be used to prop the door open. Oh. So you prop them open at both ends, air is forced in at the front, drawn out at the back you open the doors inside all the way up and it forces a blast of ice cold air through the whole car mm. if it's cold out i'll bet and so when you see these running around in snowy conditions in the mm. middle of winter there's no ice in there they, they just have the ice hatches so you want to be able to model this so that you can run it either way right ice hatches open ice hatches closed and it looks like they've done that i'm just not too keen really on, too yeah because it's very fragile figure I don't wanna, that out I don't wanna break it break it on tv break it in the middle of this whole thing yeah i'll screw around with that over time um 
the doors themselves look like they may be functional too, but mm. here again, I don't want to don't want to mess with that. Yeah, don't want to let the Christmas cakes and cookies out. But this is the 30 foot uh, real grand reefer, and uh, what a beautiful car! Oh, but they made this neat. in a 40 foot car too, so it's about that long, and that's one of my favorite cars of all time. This same color, right? But it just looks so neat in a in a big train of 30 foot, 30 foot, 30 foot, 30 foot, 40 foot reefer. 30 foot, 30 foot, 30 foot, 40 foot reefer. Wow. And they just, uh, and, and when this bright yellow, they stand out anyway. No kidding. And uh, to me, that just looks so neat in a consist to have these 40 foot reefers. And mm -hmm. uh, we, I am going to scratch build a couple of them oh, for the railroad absolutely. at some point in time. Because right. that's about the only way you can get them. I know of a guy, uh, Rick's narrow gauge or something, he offers a kit, but yeah, ah. I don't think he offers it anymore. He offered it for a while. Right. But, uh, hmm. Who cares? Scratch build it. Yeah, there you go. Everything they is available. They have all the supplies. Oh, hey. I'm buying some parts here. Right. Yeah, you know, just the foam rubber. Okay, this guy is ready now to be moved over, over to the, to freight, the yard. freight yard. And in the freight yard, there's going to be an icing platform. Yes, I get to build not, the ice. <laughs> not by coincidence. Yeah, and she's going to make the ice. And this will be, uh, <laughs> when it's not out running around on the railroad, it will be parked at the icing platform. Right. And with any luck, there will be a 40-foot reefer accompanying it on the ice track over there. Right. One of the downsides of working <laughs> in this really large scale is things fill up really fast. That's a pretty good sized yard over there. It is, but that size. If we put 15 cars in the yard, it's done. Mm -hmm. You know, so. Um, yeah. Mm -hmm. But that's that's what it is. Mm -hmm. What it is is what it is. So, right. We yeah. will figure it out. We will figure it out. But what a gorgeous, oh, gorgeous that car. That is just so awesome. I am just so tickled. Oh. I am tickled yellow. I would yes. be tickled pink, but I'm not, not very, pink. I don't do don't, pink. Don't get me going on the pink, no. I don't do pink. No, nope, me either. But, uh, wow. That's, that's a personal that's joke, but yeah. my new favorite car on the whole railroad, I'm afraid. Uh, Needs some is. weathering. I mean, a little dust. Uh, I yeah. don't, not a lot of weathering on these, but no. a little dust, a little grime. Just, just, yeah, you it know, looks like it's been up the not, track. Not too clean, or it just doesn't sell. Right. Some people like to go total junkyard dog, and I like to have an occasional car mm -hmm. with a broken back and a total... <laughs> Junkyard appearance too, but most of them I like them to look. This is a brand new, yeah, pretty nice, car, yeah. but just a little dirt on them. Yeah. Well, they are, they're just back from 500 mile expedition. Yeah. And so on. Yeah. Anyway, there it is. Well, if you haven't been over to the channel, <laughs> pop on over to the channel, and if you're not a subscriber, here comes the blue button. Mm -hmm. Are we ready for it? Zorn. <laughs> blue button right there. That will take you to the channel. Well, we're not sure how you found this movie on the internet. We hope you didn't find it boring. And we will see you on Sunday. Because mm -hmm. we're going to be driving around looking for fun people and fun things and crazy stuff. Oh, especially the crazy stuff. We'll see you. <laughs> we'll see you. Bye-bye. Bye-bye.